So it looks like Apex Legends Mobile have actually listened and they are going to be giving us some free stuff in game. They tweeted out yesterday saying, heads up legends, be on the lookout for an objective live now in game where you can play one match and get 800 syndicate gold. You can also look forward to more rewards in the coming weeks that will allow you to experience everything our final season has to offer. Now what they've done is they've basically made the battle pass for free. So if you go over to the seasonal hub and you go to the limited time section, you can find a message saying thank you from the team. All you got to do is play one match and you'll get 800 syndicate gold for free and you can use that to battle battle pass buy some skins do whatever you want with so i've already played one match so i'm gonna go claim that now so that's 800 syndicate gold for free so i'm gonna go over to the battle pass i'm gonna upgrade mine which costs 800 to get the premium one and i'm gonna do that right now so now i've got 25 free levels in the premium battle pass and a load of season points as well my battle pass is now level 16 so i can claim everything in there and like i said the skins in here they should be free anyway you know all the way up to this wraith which is again one of the best looking skins in the game as well as this eva as well so i think that's a good thing they've done now on top of that they also released a new vault uh thing called outland invasion which has got some sick octane skins some sick bloodhound skins and if you go over to the seasonal hub again you go over to the limited time section you hit spring in the ring you'll see here it says deal 2000 damage with assault rifles in any mode this will basically give you 5000 store vault tokens that you can use to get some stuff in the store vault so if you go and claim that right now there we go if we go back to the store vault you'll see here i've got 5000 uh redeem rewards that i can actually use to get some skins weirdly the sort of red eternal skins they are 10,000 and 8,000. so you're still not going to be able to get any of those but what you can do is if you want to get some signature tributes to upgrade the Octane's heirloom or Fade's heirloom, you can do that now because they only cost 70 each. Now hit a like and let me know in the comments if you actually like this. I mean, what I think, I actually tweeted out on that tweet saying what you should do is play one match and you get unlimited Syndicate gold and unlimited Syndicate uh, signature merits and tributes. Let the remaining players enjoy everything now or just, you know, don't delete the game. Hashtag save Apex Mobile, which has been a massive flop. The hashtag definitely didn't work. EA and Respawn didn't really care about the, the sort of protests and everything we did for to try and save the game. So the longer this goes on, I feel like it's more of a lost cause. Again, keep spamming hashtag a save Apex Mobile. I don't think it's going to do anything. They've made their decision. The game is going to be closing down in may so we've got still two months to play this game out and over the next two months they already said that they're going to be giving us more rewards to show off in game as well but i know a lot of you guys are going to comment saying yeah dead game there's no point in getting these rewards because the game's dying anyway there's still some players that still like to play this game they still want to enjoy playing this game up until it closes you know a lot of people put a lot of time and effort into this game a lot of content creators like myself a lot of players spent a lot of money in games so they want to kind of just finish it off same as me i kind of want to finish off the game you know in in good style i know the game's closing and i know a lot of you guys are comments saying you know yeah but roast you know the game's dying anyway i've deleted it already but if you've deleted it then just forget about it there's no need to comment if you want to carry on playing it then carry on playing it so it's a game that's gonna inevitably die in may but there's Warzone Mobile around the corner, so that's another Battle Royale that I think is it's obviously not going to be the same as Apex. Apex was, I feel, revolutionary for the mobile market. It's offered something totally different, but let me know what you think in the comments, and if you're still enjoying the game like me, let me know. And This is Goddess of Victory Nike, a brand new mobile third-person shooter game where you play as a commander leading a team of androids to defend Earth against alien forces. This game is amazing as it uses animated illustration technology to make the game play interactions and battle animations more lively you can unlock different Nikes as you progress through the story each with unique different abilities from their main weapons to the combo skills Nike has collaborated with one of the most popular animes chainsaw man which will show up as a limited time event called bullet x chainsaw and it runs from february 22nd all the way through to march 14th characters denji and aki will appear in game as npcs and aki's mentor he may know and their leader miss makima will be playable characters in the game in nikkei makima power and himeno will have their own newly designed weapons which are different from the anime also three popular devil hunters from tokyo special division 4 were brought to the world by the gatekeeper and the devil hunter team will encounter nikkei's in battle and during these battles players will see the elaborate skill cuts of makima 
Power and Himeno. Nikkei's PC version is also available right now, and it has crossplay between mobile and PC, where players will be able to keep the same progression on a single account. Nikkei's playing field, maps, and backgrounds have been expanded to fit the ratio of PC monitors, while the already high resolution 2D art has been enhanced as well. It's a different, unique style game for mobile, so go check it out now. The download link is in the description below. This is probably the nastiest building play I've ever done on a whole team in my life. Wait, what? You had a Kraber. Come on, stick me! Stick me! No, you fucking idiot! Oh, no! And he's dead. <laughs> I didn't know he had a Kraber!